All right, thanks, Steph. Regional banks pack West and Western Alliance Bank Corp stocks are plunging. So here to talk to me about this is Daniel Lakai, Chief Economist at Tresses Hedge Fund. Now, Daniel, to start off, what's happening here? What is happening, uh, unfortunately, is very clear, is that the Silicon Valley Bank collapse and the First Republic collapse uh, were not sold, that the Federal Reserve, the messages coming from consensus, etc., uh, saying that everything was under control and that the liquidity injections would help regional banks sort out their position, actually uh, were messages that were very optimistic, but very far away from the mark. So my understanding is that this happened, their stocks plunging after talks of potential, a potential sale in part or whole of these banks. Now, what does this tell us? Well, it basically tells us that the uh, equity value of a bank is something that is very, very difficult to gauge. It's, It's very difficult at the end of the day to think that uh, the message that we've heard many, many times in the stock market from investors and from analysts saying that banks are always very cheap, valuations are very low. Well, when liquidation starts to be an issue, most people find out that valuations are much lower when liquidation starts than the um, aggressively uh, conservative uh, estimates of some uh, investment bankers or analysts. What are people afraid of, to put it very simply? Well, I think that what people are afraid of is that uh, if the bank enters into financial difficulties, deposits are not going to be made whole. In fear that if there was a domino effect of the Silicon Valley Bank First Republic situation, they would see a, a very significant proportion of their deposits, the deposits lost. Yeah, I, I think uh, you make some great points. Thank you so much for talking with me, Daniel, today. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.